are recording. What's up, yes. buddy? We're back in business again with the clunkity yeah. clunk clunk. <laughs> Best picture handheld. All right, so uh, we're not going to get into the tech. That was a nice message from Joe commenting on the yes, link we go to. Absolutely. To get some content. I appreciated that. Absolutely. Yes, we always appreciate our viewers and their feedback. So, Kev, let's not waste any time. It's everybody's Thanksgiving gobble gobble tomorrow. So, let's talk about what happened last week in the league. Last week, yours truly got trounced uh, by the gentleman for a quarterly, uh, 80 points to 140. I wasn't even close. That's 60 off. I am by far the worst team <laughs> going into playoffs. I don't deserve to be there. If I could <laughs> give up my spot to Don, I would. Oh, that's... I have no chance of making it beyond week one, but I will be there anyway. Hey, you know what? Never say never. Playoffs are a crazy thing, and in one week, anything can change, as you very well know, with most of my That's one right. and done. I mean, you, you won both your championships with garbage teams, so I got a shot. How dare you? Okay, let's talk about your matchup. Uh, Brett Huntley is obviously not the answer in Green Bay, uh, posting a low 3.5. Poor old Jordy Nelson, who was awesome last year, 4.4. That guy is just out on an island by himself. Nobody's helping him. Uh, Darren McFadden, zero. So much for the vaunted backup, and he'll do anything Ezekiel can do when he's gone. Uh, on the other side of the road, Tom Brady, I hate that guy, man, destroyed poor Oakland with 35 points. Robert Woods with a nice day of 16 for your L.A. Rams. And uh, <clears throat> Colby Fleener with 14 for her. So not a huge day scoring, but certainly uh, respectable at 140. But you couldn't even crack 100. So who's next? Green Bay should pay Aaron Rodgers whatever he wants. Amen to that, brother. Next up, we've got Baltimore t again finishing off well this season. 140 taking down uh, the Wild Poopers, 140 to 101. I can't believe it. He does what others cannot. Yeah, hold on. Sorry. Now I'm the one that's slow. <laughs> oh, I know why. It's because he doesn't use his name in his, in his abbreviation. I was confused. Pardon me. Yes, the... Uh, Mr. Greg Layton got it done when it needed. Uh, Marcus Mariota in a losing effort against my Steelers posted 20. But the big day for uh, Mr. Greg was one Keenan Allen uh, with 42. Holy cow. He and Antonio Brown could have posted all by themselves and beat you. Um, on the other side of the thing, Dak Prescott. Boy, talk about missing Zeke Elliott. Minus 1.2. Started off okay. Got to about the second half. And then the Eagles just collapsed on top of them. And it was embarrassing. It was great to see Jerry Jones just all, burr, 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 what's going on my team? Even with the Wild Poopers' crazy score, the Ravens 30.1, not enough to come back against Big Greg the Leg. Who's next? Poor Don, a desperate need for a win, mm. could not get one. The punishment dude definitely making an argument for putting his name into the ring for playoffs. He defeats the Malibu Stacys with a very decent score. Of 162 versus 103. Yeah, Melvin Gordon showed up, which was nice to see at 14 points. Ryan Fitzpatrick, Mr. Harvard, uh, came to play for Tampa Bay, so he posted 23.9. Uh, let's see, Brandon Cooks with a big 30 points uh, going against uh, the uh, Raiders in Mexico City. Don had a nice day from Drew Brees at 27. Great day from Le'Veon Bell at 19.3. Uh, De uh, Demarius Thomas was 17, but not enough to overcome Big Todd and the Monsters with Latavius Murray with 22. Too. Holy cow. Travis Kelsey, 18. He was a murderer's row. I hope he's not that way this week because I get to face him. That toe stomper. Who's next? Oh. That's your cue. Okay, next. In the first <laughs> of two very close games, we have the Cellar Dwellers. Yes. Pulling out a win over the Kostowski Lovejoy Project. 144 to 134. 10 points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this week, at least, uh, the Cellar Dwellers chose the right quarterback in Kirk Cousins. How you like that with 34 points? Very nice. Jordan Howard with 20 points. Uh, Sam J. Pyrene, I think that's how his name, or I think it's Pyrene or Pyrene, 21 points because old Chris Thomas out. Fat, uh, what's his guy? What's the other guy's name there? Uh, Fat Rob Kelly's out. So he's the number one now. Uh, Carson Wentz on the other side of the page with 24 points. Uh, LaShawn McCoy with 27. Jamal Williams, 13. Jamison Crowder, 14. Good day for Joseph uh, and the many colored coats that just blinded the cellar dwellers out of that game. Who's next? And we've got the Deplorables, who, <laughs> too little too late, uh, win with a nice score of 160. Definitely made some moves 
on the waiver wire the past few weeks to bolster her team, takes down the Braille Bombers. 160 to 155. Impressive. Yeah, I think it was much more the fact that her guys really showed up this week and moms just didn't have enough. Big Ben Roethlisberger with 37. Insane in the membrane. Mark Ingram, 26. Monster day. Big Kenny Stills for Miami, 35. Holy cow, what a good day. On the other side of the fence, um, Mama had Russell Wilson for 34. That's awesome. Damonte Adams for 22. Marvin Jones, 18. Good day. And in fact, I thought she might have pulled this one out because Russell Wilson, if he gets that ball back, uh, they might have, I mean, you know, when he has a chance, it might have gone that way. But they ended up kicking the field goal, which they missed. And game over. Russell Wilson done. No overtime, no nothing. But boy, she made a fight of it on Monday night. What's next? Well, I don't want her to uh, lose, but I love seeing Pete Carroll lose. Yes. Okay, should we do the standings? Uh, you know, you missed one, jerk face. No. Uh, yeah, Let's you missed a big one with me and Jay that was over before it started with all that right, pirate. Right. We have in a game, in a game that should have been different. <laughs> uh, Matthew impressively is able to. To crack, I just bit my tongue, 200 <laughs> points to score 204, uh, taking down our Give Me That Booty in a true grudge match, uh, but uh, we got lucky. What yeah, say? that's exactly what I think. I think I beat him like Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton. It was a shocker. People were crying the next day. They couldn't tell what happened. Everybody thought Jason was supposed to win. But what happened? little funny thing on the way to the races that day. Antonio Brown with 45. Alvin Kamara, the gem of New Orleans, 25 points. Adam, I'm feeling it for Thielen, 28. 24 from old man Larry Fitzgerald. Don't you dare yawn. And the Red Rocket, the Red Rifle himself, Andy Dalton with 24. Boom goes the dynamite. Don't forget the Eagles with a little frosting on top of those stupid Cowboys. Take that, Jay. I will see you in playoffs. All right. Speaking of playoffs, we have one more yes. week to go. But as it stands, yes. after week 11, we have, May. okay, sorry, in Brockway, alone at the top now, making fantasy football great again at 8-3, and three, followed by Baltimore at 7-4. and four. Mathematically, those two are in. Malibu Stacy's at 4-7 and seven is out. In Ogdenville, the Lovejoy Project at 5-6 and six is tied with Camp Krusty at 5-6. and six. Definitely not the elite division. <laughs> the Horribles, unfortunately, at 2-9, and nine, coming on strong. But I think at this point, mathematically out of it, uh, Joe and I are in. In North Haverbrook, we've got the Braille Bombers alone, 7-4. and four. Followed by the four quarterlies, and again, the cellar dwellers, I think they are mathematically out of it. We've mm -hmm. got real bombers and four quarterlies making it to the playoffs. And finally, we have in the division that is still not decided, at least there's one. The wild poopers are definitely in at eight and three, but that booty is only one game ahead of Todd, the punishment due. If basically Jason controls his own destiny, yes, he does. Then, mm -hmm. If he loses, and Todd wins. It'll go down to points. And points for, I think, Dad Dad has it by 100. So he may be in. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting because I play the punishment due this week. So I so uh, I would love to knock him out. Uh, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen on any given Sunday. It should be a fun race to the finish. I cannot wait to see who makes it in and then what our matchups are. It's going to be awesome. You still there? Hello? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that being said, week 12, which is the final week in regular season, we've got a couple of games. I know you only like doing the interesting one. Let's talk about yours. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You skipped right over the free agent auction, son. Hello? Sorry, go ahead. Yes, thank you. Go Hold ahead. on. It's loading on my screen. This flipping thing is taking forever no disputes this week although there were some moves to be made i picked up Devonte booker out of denver supposedly he's supposed to be the next running back i see that krastovsky got byron marshall the running back out of washington to fill that spot that chris thompson left open i also grabbed phil rivers another quarterback after i ditched poor that doofus from buffalo even though he gets another start i'm not keeping him uh cellar dwellers picked up jd mckissick if you saw him from monday night he got used a lot uh punishment due and give me that booty got some defenses and some kick guys for this week so that's that now take us to give me your top three games this week i know one of them's got to be me and todd 
Well, I'm going to do four games. I okay, the sure. First, the first one is going to be you versus Todd. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Him wait a minute. Playoffs. Wait, wait. We play two more weeks, buddy. Sorry. It's okay. No, no. We play two more weeks, so this could actually change a lot for Jason and Todd in the next two weeks, right? Yeah, I didn't think it was two weeks. I thought it was only one more week. I did too, but I'm okay. looking at it now, and it looks like we have 13 weeks of the regular season. So Yeah, sorry. That's another league. I mean, I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. That's more. okay. Okay, so talk about the three games that matter this week. These are the ones. Okay, you and the punishment do. You could certainly hurt Todd's chances of making it to playoffs. I don't think it would mathematically eliminate him just yet. No, you want to talk about that one? Okay, good enough. Let me take a look here. At the matchup as they were. Oh, damn it. I want the preview, you gunkies. Oh, shut up. Hey, I'm working with one hand on one thing and one hand on the other. Just settle down. For now, I'm what's, starting... What's the other hand on? No, none of your business. Uh, so, um, I'm starting right now Jacoby Brissett, although he's questionable against Tennessee. Exactly, moron. Wow, going in strong. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I am streaming whatever quarterback's going to help me. It is... It is. I am just rotating him in, whoever I think's going to got the hot hand. The hot hand. Uh, Alvin Kamara and Damian Williams are my anchors at running back. Yeah, I saw that coming week one. Good thing I got fucking Marshawn Lynch. Um, uh, Antonio Brown, Adam Thielen, Delaney Walker, Larry Fitzgerald, those are my rocks. I need them to perform. Going up against Melvin Gordon, who had a huge day, and he's going to play tomorrow on Turkey Day, so we'll know how he ah. did. Hey, stop picking your head. I can see the scabs up there. Settle down on that. I he also has Tevin Coleman, who's doing pretty well for Atlanta, especially since Devontae Freeman was out. Uh, we'll see if Amari Cooper can dig his way out and show his face again like the, uh, what is that, the groundhog that shows his face every once in a while. I think that's what he's done this entire year. Brandon Cook should have a good day, and same with Travis Kelsey. What's your next matchup, bug-eyed? The next interesting one is our Give Me That Booty. Booty! Going against Voldemort, who I think is mathematically in, but again, he could play spoiler and uh, if Jason gets a loss, then he's really getting close to Todd there. Yeah, will the real Alex Smith please stand up? I'm sure you saw what he did last week, which was Jack squat. Uh, this week they're predicting quite a big day for him in Buffalo. He should bounce back nicely, but who knows? He's got Alfred Morris, the cat, filling in for my suspended Zeke. He's got Deion Lewis, who right now is the running back you want in New England. We'll see if that holds true. He's got that crazy hair, DeAndre Hopkins, who no matter who's the quarterback, he continues to catch touchdowns and passes. Um, and and Jarvis Landry, that's his rock. We'll see if Danny Woodhead, I love me some Woodhead, can get something done this week. He didn't do much last week, but he's supposed to do well this week. On the other side of the coin, we got, again, um, Mariota and Murray trying to get right after that beat down in uh, Pittsburgh, see if they can get it done at Indy this week. And will Keenan Allen post another 40? I sincerely doubt it. But maybe he'll get a respectable 20 or 30 this week. And Tyreek Hill, maybe he'll benefit if Alex Smith has a good day. So it'll be funny to watch Jason cheer for Alex Smith, throw to Tyreek Hill, but then curse it if Tyreek Hill gets the touchdown because it's plus one for Tyreek Hill. What's our last game? You know what? I got oh, four two. games. Sorry, two. Yeah, what's the next game? I got two. Uh, we could call this the battle at the bottom or the catfish fight because we got <laughs> two games with teams hovering around the bottom of their division. The first one is we've got the what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Uh, cellar dwellers mm -hmm. going up against the deplorables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one will be interesting. And oh, go ahead. You want to just, you, are we talking? No, I think that's it. I think that's it because the other one was actually a, uh, Malibu and wild poopers, and wild poopers are near the top. So we've yeah. got the one catfish Okay, game. not a problem. So with this catfish game, again, will Kirk Cousins show up this week? He might, he might not. Big Ben going against Green Bay, who has a better to pass defense than uh, the uh, than than others who will face this week. So we'll see how he does. Ingram, will he continue his run in New Orleans, uh, being on the road? We shall see. They'll probably lean on him pretty heavily. Uh, will Kenny Stills get another 40? I sincerely doubt it, but we'll see. Golden Tate should have a nice day, I'm thinking, because it's going to be Turkey Day. And on the other side, side of the coin Doug Martin he's been quiet the last couple weeks this could be a week where he shows up and again Sam J Pyrene or Pyrene will have a good day because he's going to be the number one against the Giants that's of course assuming he starts right now he's questionable so yeah those are your games everything is did locked you, did you want to talk about a potential interview that might find its way to the uh... yes I am I am happy to announce uh, ladies and gentlemen that Mr. Kevin has come through 
with the Dawn interview. The elusive Dawn interview that was harder to get than the Zabruder film out of the time I archives, but we have it. It will be posted. Good job, Kevin. But now that puts a pressure on yours truly because now I have to come up with the next person and get them on board within a week. Uh, might not be this week because it's Thanksgiving. I'm shooting for next week, so we'll see what I can do. And uh, just be on the lookout, people. I might be tapping you for the next interview, so be ready with those answers. Yeah, let's get one. It'd be good to get... Uh, uh Somebody people don't know a lot about. Yeah. Would that be Jennifer or just anybody? Dynamite fill in there, Matt. Thanks. She know what? Shut up. I'm working with 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 <laughs> with flipping duct tape and spit over here. Wait a minute. That's another job I had. Um. So, uh, from all of us to all of you out there, happy Thanksgiving. Have a safe and happy holiday. We're going to miss Kevin on the gridiron and our MVP, Dawn, from last year. But next year, they will be on the field. I'll get some video. Maybe I'll put some highlights up of that for everybody to laugh at. Watch me running. Um, and uh, it should be a great turkey to everybody's looking forward to. Don't forget, December 10th, mark your calendars. That's our day out at Players. I will send out more about that. But I've talked to a few people, so I think we're going to be good there. Kev, why don't you tell us what uh, your Thanksgiving, uh, what you're grateful for? Because I know the number one that list is me but who's after me who is after you it's a distant second place but of course my family and all of my friends gosh give me something new i'm not gonna (laughs) thank my lousy help (laughs) i am not gonna thank lots of other things although i do have a suggestion i could be at turkey bowl this year if you could find somebody to run along with a green screen behind several players we could probably put myself in there. That would be and awesome. Just like I was there. That'd be awesome. We all show up out there. They're like, hey, they're playing football. They're like, why is that person all dressed all in green? Why do they have a <laughs> stick with them and there's a giant thing following them? Oh, that's Kev. Uh, we're going we're gonna to put him in later. In one of those motion captures. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> they put me in there. They'd be like, why is there so much extra space around Kev? He doesn't fit in that frame. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, jerks. Wait. Matt just turned into a gorilla. What the hell's going on? <laughs> exactly. Silverback, baby. All right. Well, hey, from all of us to all of you, happy Thanksgiving, as I said before. Kev, take us home for the holidays. Gobble, gobble, bone storm. <laughs>